Welcome to the Valley's live local late night talk show. It's Phoenix Tonight! Tonight's guests are podcast producer Chris Ayers, comics artist Zoe Sub, and musical guest Sex Lasagna. And now, Logan's Sideburn Stunt Double, your host, Russ Kazmierz! Hey! Hey! Hey, everybody, thank you for coming to Phoenix tonight! Episode number 13! Lucky episode number 13. It was a crazy week this week, though. Very unlucky for Ryan Seacrest. Did you guys hear about what happened at Ryan Seacrest's house? Unbelievable. He called 911 when he saw uh, something flaming in his house. They weren't quick to respond, however, because they often hear about things flaming at Ryan Seacrest's house. <laughs> so, <laughs> man, talking about flaming, it was hot here in uh, Phoenix, Arizona this week. We're in the high 80s. It was so hot in Phoenix. Thank you. It was so hot in Phoenix. I wish I was Glendale so the Arizona Coyotes could give me the cold shoulder just to cool me down. A little sport, thank you. A little, little sports humor there. Yes, following this WikiLeaks story, apparently WikiLeaks can like, or the, the CIA can, can spy on you through your Samsung TV as revealed through the WikiLeaks. Uh, yeah, I'm, I was so outraged that they would violate my privacy like that that in a fury, I periscoped from my bathroom. Just how outraged I was. Because we expose ourselves already is the subtext of that joke. Chris Angel didn't have a great week either. Did you guys hear about what happened to him? I think it was just today, actually. This happened to Chris Angel, mind freak, if you're not familiar <laughs> with Chris Angel, mind freak, uh, whose uh, best magic trick, by the way, is uh, maintaining excellent mascara lines. The guy it never runs. But that's neither here nor there. Chris Angel. Uh, apparently passed out during one of his trademark tricks. He was hanging upside down in a straight jacket. Uh, he had to break out of it, but he lost consciousness. And he was rushed to the hospital. Uh, fortunately, he woke, and his first words upon waking up were, ta-da! <laughs> Mascara, perfect, when he woke up. Boom! <laughs> and David Copperfield was like, "Oh, too bad. <laughs> <sighs> Finally, have you guys heard that they're trying to clone a caveman? Have you heard this story? It comes up from time to time, but I guess they're getting even closer to, to cloning a Neanderthal. They have the DNA. They've ret retrieved it from Donald Trump's bedsheets, apparently, <laughs> this caveman DNA. And the scientist involved said they just need an adventurous woman that would be willing to carry this caveman DNA in her womb, apparently, to birth the, the Neanderthal man. Now, is there a woman out there that would be willing to share the spotlight with a caveman for about nine months? Hillary Clinton, are you available? Hillary? <laughs> nine months? That makes that joke brilliant. Who's going to benefit from a Neanderthal man? I mean, you know he's just going to get raised in our society. He's basically just going to be like a regular person, but with that Neanderthal DNA. Who benefits? Brendan Fraser benefits. That's who benefits. Because this monologue has not benefited from that at all. Are you guys ready for a great episode of Phoenix Tonight? Yeah. I'm excited. We have award-winning animator and podcast producer Chris Ayers in the building. We're going to talk <laughs> comics and film. Speaking of comics, comic book creator Zoe Sugg is here. Yeah. And the band Sex Lasagna. This is Phoenix Tonight! Yeah. 